majority of you have completed with the syllabus of physics still uh, many of you are not aware about how to attend the question paper and what should be the paper presentation well in this video we'll cover everything and uh, i'll tell you how to exactly write the derivations and how to write the answer so let's begin so we are going to discuss question paper of 2023 and uh, let's see first was mcq's part so it was pretty easy for everybody to solve but you need to know that uh, whenever you are answering you have to write the question number and the sub part for example this is question number 1 b then question number 2 a or you can also write this entire statement but it will waste your time and you have to uh, save a lot of time in physics paper it happened with me that i was attempting this question paper very slowly and at the end i had to rush and complete the paper my score in physics was 94 and i very well know where six marks were deducted it was because of my silly mistakes and you have to avoid that in this video i'll tell you all right so this part is uh, to answer the questions briefly this is one marker you do not need to expand the answers just write the statement what is asked what is meant by an equipotential surface so the b part is it is the locus of points having the same potential and you can see the keywords have been underlined or made bold you can also underline your keywords so for one marker you do not have to exaggerate unnecessarily moving on to question number 2 calculate equivalent capacitance of the circuit shown in this figure so if you see uh, several candidates were confused when applying the formulas for series and parallel in between capacitors and resistors you need to know about capacitance and resistance they are two different concepts and the formulas are totally different so make sure that you do not uh, uh, get stuck in this part it's a very simple question and it is usually asked every year then b part here students uh, did this mistake they did not convert centimeter to meter and uh, for second part you can see the formula is this an answer is in bold make sure to convert all your units into si you can also visit molly ebooks in which uh, there are many ebooks for class 12th and 10th icsc isc boards respectively so this is full syllabus physics handwritten notes so in this all the uh, definitions diagrams derivations and numericals have been covered you can buy this from the link in the description box write balancing condition of a wheatstone bridge so some candidates were unable to solve this question they drew capacitors instead of resistors and in some instances different letters were used wrong balancing conditions were applied make sure to do wheatstone bridge meter bridge and all of this one question is definitely asked every year second was state what the symbol n stands for this stands for number of free electrons per unit volume several candidates failed to mention this also if you look at the marking scheme there is this or like if you write p by q equals to r by s then also you will be awarded marks either you write this or i g equals to 0 then question number 4 when an electric current is passed through a wire or a coil a magnetic field is produced is the reverse phenomenon possible explain with the help of an appropriate example so uh, everybody answer the first part correctly but they could not grasp the reverse reverse concept of producing a magnetic field due to an electric field so you can see marking scheme here there are many options available either you draw the diagram only or you have written the statement everybody will be awarded marks okay then question number 5 whenever you are given numericals please mention the given quantities for example q v and b right you will be able to answer the numerical easily calculate the force so the formula was f is equal to q v b right 
so you have to answer it in the SI unit and uh, converting galvanometer, ammeter, voltmeter, everything should be done with an appropriate circuit diagram. This is also asked every year. See this question, right? Mention the units, no marks for not mentioning the unit. Then question number six, state how vectors E, B, C are oriented in an electromagnetic wave. So um, a few candidates wrote that E is perpendicular to B and B is perpendicular to C, which means that E may be parallel to C, which is incorrect. It might look that this statement is correct, but no, it is incorrect because it implies E and C might be parallel. You have to write they are mutually perpendicular to each other or perpendicular to each other. They are mutually perpendicular. They form the set of orthogonal vectors. Even if you don't uh, know the statements or you're not able to recall what you have studied, you can draw the diagram. Full marks will be awarded for that. Many of you don't know about this. You can draw the diagram if you are not able to recall the theory part, right? Then the derivations show that the intensity of electric field at a point in broadside position of an electric dipole is given by so this is what you have to prove and uh, questions on broad broadside and side on are asked every year right candidates did not show e1 e2 theta in the diagram labeling should be done okay along with the diagram and you can draw, draw the diagram with a pencil figure which is labeled here e1 cos theta e2 cos theta and you should make a legible diagram then uh, questions on kirchhoff's law and resistor diagrams emfs right okay so if you want to attempt extra questions you should do this at the end Attempting extra questions are of course beneficial. For example, you scored two out of three here and three out of three here. Okay. You have attempted this at the last. Okay. At the end. So they will be considering, they'll be considering this one, three by three, in which you have scored full. Then question number 13. This is again a derivation. They have given angle of prism as A, minimum, minimum deviation as this. So you'll have to uh, write that only while attempting the question. This is the derivation, the diagram and the labeling should be done. And as I told you, instruct students to convert all units to the SI system before substituting them into the correct formula. Formula based questions are asked in boards. They will not ask you ITJ questions, right? So uh, these are very easy to attempt. Uh, have a look at this question. You have to convert this into electron volt. Most of the candidates were not able to apply the correct formula of energy. A few candidates made errors in conversions from joules to electron volt, right? So you uh, need to learn the energy unit electron volt and its relation with the joule then uh, questions on impedance are also very important like inductor capacitor might be given capacitor or resistor might be given all three might be given so they'll ask you to calculate the impedance many candidates do not write the unit of impedance and several candidates did not write the correct formula. The units of XL, XC and Z were not mentioned by many candidates. Some of them could not draw the correct shape of the graph. So this is how the marks are awarded. See, name the series of lines of hydrogen spectrum. This is also important. Ultraviolet region, Lyman series. Visible region, Balmer series. Okay, important questions. Gauss theorem, Kirchhoff's law and its numericals, sign convention lenses, also some derivations like lens maker formula, right? Two convex lenses, then combination of lenses, application of mirrors, LCR circuits, calculate the impedance of this, then electromagnetic induction. This is also an important question. 
compound microscope or telescope they may ask you the derivation one derivation will surely come tomorrow numerical based on alternating current circuit diagrams and biasing huygens applications again important then uh, wave front sign convention in lenses simple and compound microscope okay double slit experiment this is also important some suggestions for the candidates draw a ray diagram with arrow heads practice conversion of cgs units to si and create a uh, mind map flow charts to consolidate your knowledge for quick revision during exam uh, you don't have time right now but you can just revise it with this keep your answer paper presentable by keeping your handwriting legible by avoiding unnecessary scratching and striking off and uh, understand the basics of any derivation and their outcome practice previous year question papers very very important pyqs last day of revision should be allotted to the pyqs work on time management on each question depending upon the marks distribution show virtual images by dotted lines thank you for watching this video if you liked it make sure to subscribe and i'll be coming up with more such videos of other subjects till then bye and all the best for your physics exam